Okay, just gonna take a deep breath before I start this because I just had a low and lows make me really, really anxious lately and you will know why once you watch this video. I am sitting down to share with you what happened this weekend. Some of you who follow me on Instagram probably saw the story. I took a lovely ambulance ride to the ER because of low blood sugar. So that's a first for me. I have never had to go to the hospital for low blood sugar in 20 years of having type 1 diabetes. First time for everything. I'm not filming this video to scare anyone. I don't want to scare anyone, but I just want to share my story, kind of let you know what happened, make you aware that this kind of thing can happen. You know, type 1 diabetes is a very wild disease to have, uh, very unpredictable, and you can do everything you can to keep yourself under control, but sometimes things happen. But I also want to show that I'm totally fine. Um, I got through what happened and I'm here physically okay. Mentally, not so much, but I will get there. I actually did kind of record this more live time or directly after this happened on Instagram. So how this video is going to work is I'm going to insert those stories into this video and then I'm just going to elaborate after that because I feel like the story is best told from my Instagram story because I did film it right after it happened so everything was kind of fresh in my mind. So I am going to insert that right here. Hey everyone, I hope you are having a good Saturday, much better than the Saturday I've had. Um, I was in the emergency room this afternoon with some very scary low blood sugars. Never had to go in before for lows, and this was definitely the scariest diabetes incident that I've had in all 20 years of living with type 1 diabetes. So I just wanted to come on here, share my experience, and see if anyone else has had the same thing happen because we're still looking for answers um, to explain what I just went through today. So pretty much day started off normal. I had breakfast. And then um, my pump was running out of insulin, but I had just changed my site recently. So I just changed the cartridge and that's it. Um, about half hour after I changed the cartridge and everything was set up, I started going low really, really fast. And I even thought, wow, this is a really aggressive low. So treated it like normal, went up a little bit. And then I noticed I was dropping again, like very fast, like double arrow down. And we had these fruit juice pops. I was just like chugging these juices and it would go up a bit and then just drop. And it kept going down to like the low twos. So like 2.3, 2.4, 2.5, it was very scary. I felt like I was losing control. So within an hour and a half time period, I went low five times, very aggressive drops where I, I thought I was coming up and then it would just be like double arrow down all of a sudden. And I tested with my glucometer many times. My Dexcom was accurate. And I just felt like I couldn't get rid of these lows. It was so aggressive. It was like I had given myself a ton of insulin, even though I hadn't. So we were getting really scared. I was actually eating honey out of a jar with a spoon. It was insane. We estimated that I had about 300 grams of carbohydrates. My pump had been disconnected for over two hours and just nothing, nothing. I kept going low. So I was not feeling well. I was really scared. Rafi, my husband, decided to call an ambulance. Um, luckily, I, like, I didn't pass out or at anything. I didn't need actual help, but I just didn't know what was going on with my body and we felt like I needed to go get checked out. So he called an ambulance. They took me to the ER. I was there all afternoon. They ran a ton of tests on me. And of course my blood sugar was high all afternoon because of the 300 grams of carbs I ingested. So nothing is wrong internally that they could find. The ER doc said that she thought it was my pump that was giving me more insulin than it should. Um, and I was on the phone with Tandem when I got home and we did a lot of tests to see and everything looks okay with my pump. So it's really a mystery. Um, the rep did suggest though that since I changed my cartridge on its own without changing the site, that it could have caused some sort of weird pressure gradient and I maybe got some extra insulin because I did that. But honestly, like I have a physics degree, my husband has a physics degree, we understand pressure gradients. We don't really get how that could have happened. So it is really confusing and we're still like thinking about what happened. I'm kind of scared being connected to my pump right now to be honest, cause I'm worried it's broken, but so far so good. I'm hoping for an uneventful evening. 
Just one last thing I wanna mention is that I am weaning off breastfeeding right now. So my milk supply has drastically decreased. I'm wondering if there could be a big hormonal change, a big hormonal shift that could have caused these low blood sugars, although I doubt it just given how aggressive they were. I feel like it came from insulin. Good morning, everyone. I just wanted to come on here and say hi. I am doing okay this morning. Um, and thank you so much for all of your kind messages. I received hundreds of messages yesterday from people, just supportive messages and also people telling me similar experiences that they've had. And those have been really helpful to read. Haven't gotten through all of them yet, let alone had a chance to respond, but just wanted to say thank you. I see the messages coming in and I'm very grateful. Just an update for what's happening this morning. Um, I'm okay. I honestly am just really on edge and anxious. <laughs> My husband and I did a lot of chatting last night and this morning trying to figure out what happened and what was the cause of this really scary incident I had yesterday with the lows. And we really, we strongly feel that it was from me receiving a large amount of insulin and that it was not hormonal, just given the time period it happened in, given the series of events, um, the severity of the lows, also what the doctor said in the ER. I really think I received a large amount of insulin, although obviously I can't say whether or not that's 100% true. This is just my gut feeling. And because of that, I am really scared and feel unsafe to have my current insulin pump on. Um, I'm scared to bolus with it. Today for breakfast, I actually bolus using a syringe instead of the insulin pump because I don't, I'm not 100% confident that I'm getting the right amount of insulin from my pump. Um, so I did call Tandem Diabetes this morning and told them what was going on and said that I feel unsafe wearing my current pump and I requested a replacement pump under my warranty. So the individual I talked to on the phone was super nice. They're always so, so good to deal with there at Tandem Diabetes, but she wasn't able to issue me a replacement pump on the spot. She had to escalate this to someone else and I am still waiting to hear back. So fingers crossed that I hear back sometime soon so that we can get this replacement pump on the way because yeah, I definitely feel very uncomfortable wearing my current pump and I would feel much better having a new one just knowing it's like a fresh pump with no potential issues. But I will keep you updated with what happens and I just want to say thank you again for all the support. Hey everyone, luck which just came to my door. So quick, I'm honestly shocked at how fast um, they shipped me a new insulin pump. It came in like two hours um, after I talked to the rep. So all is well, I'm feeling much better, much more comforted knowing that I have this. There still is no evidence that it was my insulin pump, but I'm going to be sending my old insulin pump back so that they can do a very thorough check. But thank you so much to Tandem for helping me out with this. So there you go, that is what happened. Definitely the scariest thing that I've ever had happen to me with type 1 diabetes. I can't quite explain how scary it was. I feel like that story didn't even capture the fear that I had while this was all happening. But I have my new pump on, or the replacement pump, and I definitely feel more at ease. We still have no idea what caused this. Like, it might not have even been the pump. Like, we have no idea. But Tandem was really, really good dealing with it and they took my pump back so I shipped it back to them and they are going to do a very thorough examination of it just to make sure that nothing happened with the pump. There are a few other possibilities that might have caused this that I just wanted to kind of bring up in this video in case some of you are curious. So I did post this story to Instagram and I honestly got almost 500 responses from you all which is a insane i couldn't believe it so many people have experienced things like this situations like this with lows that no matter what you ate you just couldn't bring up very very scary situations someone even told me that this happened to them on an airplane can't imagine that is just terrifying a few of you mentioned zombie sites which i thought was really interesting never really crossed my mind but apparently what can happen is if your insulin pump site is in some scar tissue, you can have insulin build up there and then it will just release all of a sudden into your body. So you'll just get this surge of insulin. Um, and someone suggested maybe that's what happened to me. I don't think this is what happened to me because I feel like if I had one of those zombie sites, my blood sugar would have been stubborn beforehand and running high before the low incident. And it wasn't, it was pretty normal. So. 
I feel like that's not what happened, but definitely good to be aware of. Another thing that a lot of people messaged me about was, was I connected to the tubing when I was priming? No, I was not connected to the tubing. Although I can see how if you're kind of in a rush and not thinking, yeah, maybe that could happen, but no, that did not happen. Some other people mentioned hormones as well. And you can see in, from my story, I also was kind of thinking hormones, but just given how severe the whole episode was, and it was just for like a three hour chunk of time, and then after I went back to normal, I don't think it was hormones. And if anything, when you're weaning off breastfeeding, I feel like your blood sugars would be going high rather than low. So yes, it is still a mystery. We still have no idea. We may never know what happened. And I feel like that's quite often the conclusion of diabetes incidents for me over the past 20 years. If I have an incident where I have ketones or have gone high, there's not always an answer. And unfortunately that is just type one diabetes. There is not always an answer. You kind of just have to accept that it happened uh, deal with it in the moment and move on from it and just try to go back to your life Even though it can be hard after an incident like this to go back to your life Not gonna lie to you. I have been running high because I am scared to go low. Obviously, this is not a good habit You do not want to run that high all the time But I'm trying to just slowly bring my target range back down until I feel more comfortable I did go through a traumatic experience. I don't know if that's being dramatic, but I feel like it was a traumatic experience. So yes, that is my scariest diabetes experience. I can't believe it happened 20 years after I was diagnosed. Like, just such a wild disease. But thank you for watching. Let me know in the comments below if you have ever experienced anything like this. Love to hear your stories, and I hope you are all doing well. Thanks so much for tuning in. Bye!